Hey guys, in this video I'm gonna show you how to maintain uh, your sunroofs on these old school Mercedes. So let's go. This is the guy that's gonna be helping me out. It's a wheel bearing grease. So you don't need anything fancy, you know, any grease will work. Uh, so what you're gonna need to do is make sure it's actually not cold outside and make sure you can open the sunroof. So I actually haven't opened the sunroof on this car in probably like two years. So we're gonna see how it opens up. Yeah, you, you heard me right. Yeah, it's, it's been like probably two years since I opened the sunroof. Um, I don't really have a particular reason uh, why, you know, it's been two years, but it's just been two years. So let's go ahead, let's see how it opens up. And, uh, you know, I'm gonna show you how to do the maintenance on your sunroof. When you go inside the car, Put the key to the on. Alright, and then there's a sunroof button. Try again. Nothing. So we have to turn it all the way in, I guess. Wow, it's going. The baby's going. guys now I'm gonna turn the key off and we're gonna get started on it Ooh, she really needs help guys wow she really does need help I have a feeling I'm gonna have to take this whole thing off of here at some point in the future but um, what you want to do is clean all this junk off I grab like a clean cloth or something, clean all this junk off and then re-grease all this stuff mainly those tracks okay yeah I have a feeling I'm gonna have to actually <laughs> probably pull the headliner down or something and yeah fix this whole thing and then change the sunroof seal but that's gonna be in the future that's when I actually, when I actually start my full restoration on this car but for now uh, we're gonna just do like some minor repairs right now and maintenance all right guys so i have this clean microfiber towel i'm gonna wipe all this junk off it doesn't have to be microfiber towel but i had this laying around i have a lot of them so it doesn't matter but i want to clean all this stuff off and actually it's a good idea to exercise you know your sunroof every so often open it close it um just to keep it going but yeah this will need help as well so like i said guys you guys you know watched that video or you haven't watched it so that's kind of like you know this car really needs like a full restoration Pretty much. This grease is so dry. And it's a good thing that somebody has, you know, has been taking care of all this. But it's just been a really long time, I guess, since they did it. That looks pretty good. Yeah. And then good idea to get under there as well. And we're gonna do the same on the other side. So on this side, gonna do the same thing. Uh, so so rusty. Yeah, this sunroof mechanism, the whole thing will most likely need to be removed. But I feel like just to do like everything properly, I guess. This will need to come off. Yeah. Also, you could use, you know, spray some water here and then wipe it down or something or a cleaner, but for now it's good. It's a really good idea to grab like a, a pick or something and a cloth and go under this thing. So that's what I'm gonna do right now go under where the actual, actual tracks are and clean that area pretty well clean all the 
this stuff and then it's basically like a preparation until we apply the grease it's kind of like a, you know when you do the paint job on the car first you gotta sand it you gotta prepare the whole all the surface and stuff and then only then you apply your primer your base coat and all that so it's kind of same here here same thing here so and also while you're here what you can do is if you feel like your sunroof is leaking you can pour water in here and you know after you pour water in here you can you know see if it drains out it should drain out but if the water stays here that means uh, your sunroof drains are clogged same here there's actually four drains there's a hose there going hose here right there and on that side as well so it's quite a bit of them so anyways i'm gonna clean all this stuff uh, and then i'll show you the process of uh lubricating this all right guys so this is what i've been telling you so i'm gonna grab like a pick but the best thing is to grab a plastic tool but i'm gonna be very careful and i'm gonna wrap it around this guy and i'm gonna put it in that track all the way there so i can get all this junk out pick up as much as i can okay All right guys, right now uh, everything is all cleaned up. All the tracks are clean on the sunroof mechanism. So right now what we're gonna do is grab this wheel bearing grease. Um, it doesn't matter, you can use a silicone grease, you can use a wheel bearing grease. Um, you know, just don't use the, you know, vegetable oil or anything like that, but. Uh, this will work just fine, no problem. Extra heavy duty grease. So let's go ahead, I'll show you how to apply this guy. So this is particularly uh, green grease, so it doesn't matter what uh, color it is, but um, and good idea to wear gloves <laughs> and I ran out of my gloves. Usually I wear gloves, guys, um, you know, when I work on cars, you know, I, I hate not having gloves. You know, I, al I always use gloves when working on cars, but today is just probably an exception. Either way, I'm going to wash my hands after that, but um here's what you want to do you want to grab grease and get under there pretty well okay the thing is that the more grease i guess the better you know never too much lubrication no, never too much lubrication no, never too much lubrication but you have to remember also that whenever you close the sunroof actually the sunroof itself will grab all that grease and spread it out so you don't have to go too crazy but uh you know guys uh, i'm really crazy about lubrication and vitalization so i will be putting a lot of grease in here and you can put some on this surface too which kind of keeps it nice kind of rust prevention i guess you know because these these some of these bolts actually because this is not gonna rust itself but the the bolts the fasteners are actually probably gonna rust like on that side you saw so that's why i like to put it but the main thing is to get on this guy get under there and if you have like a q-tip or something that actually will be really helpful because that q-tip can push everything in there but in this case i'm going to use my plastic tool and push all the grease inside of those tracks okay actually and it doesn't matter it doesn't it always actually it actually works on any car with the sunroof pretty much you know is every so often you have to lubricate that sunroof mechanism uh you have to maintain it um you know i guess maybe i don't know maybe at least once or twice a year depending on how much you use it but like i said it's a good idea to actually um you know exercise the sunroof every so often you know so it actually keeps it nice and, and lubricated and moving and all that so be careful there's a headliner that's don't stain your headliner wait i'm actually lying to you there's some dirt on it still 
I didn't do a good job cleaning it. Okay, let me fix that up quickly. What a fail. Well, that's a lot better than it used to be. Okay. All the this area is decontaminated, so now I'm gonna grab my grease and I'm gonna start pushing it in side. Okay. Actually you can use this end as well to do it. And I gotta clean this end too. Oh my gosh, I forgot about that. Okay guys, so I'm gonna do all this and I'm gonna do the same on the other side and then I'll come back to you. Alright guys, really quick, gonna show you the progress. Alright, and I covered most of it, but uh, there's gonna be one important step that you guys have to do. Uh, it's You will have to open and close it a couple times so the grease uh, gets spread out. Baby's moving. Okay. Let's see. Yep. It's all nicely closed up. Uh, let's do it again. Let's see. Oh wow, it moves so much faster, guys. You guys have no idea. Wow. Look at it really quick. Yep. Wow, that's amazing. And as you can see, if you look on that area right there, the grease got spread out, okay? So that's a really good thing. Um, and basically some on the other side. And if you want, you can actually wipe down the excess of grease. Uh, you know, it's not a problem. You can always wipe it down little bit like that so it's not so much of it but it's a good thing if you really want you can add a lot more grease in there so maybe I'll just do that real quick um, and yeah the sunroof actually works amazing now it works a lot faster uh, moves a lot faster uh, yeah so that's pretty awesome there's some more junk that got pulled while it was running yeah this is perfect but yeah mainly you guys have to focus on those tracks right there and this guy over here as well all right guys that's it for this video thank you so much for watching thanks for liking and subscribing to vita's garage thanks for supporting and everything else and as you guys can see you know this is uh you guys saw the sunroof maintenance it's pretty easy to do everybody can do it uh as long as your sunroof is working and uh, I'll probably make at some point, I'll make another video, you know, about, you know, what to do if your sunroof doesn't open. And uh, this is, those three, these three items are the only thing that you guys need, uh, which is, you know, a plastic tool or like a pick that I was using before. So maybe four tools, yeah. So a pick, wait, okay, let me grab it. All right, guys, can you guys see it now? So we got a pick, we got a plastic tool, we got a microfiber towel, and we got a wheel bearing grease. So four items to do the maintenance on your sunroof on your old school Mercedes and this actually works on any car pretty much but um, you know it can work on any car Honda you know if it has oh if it has a sunroof yeah but uh, you know like Lexus other cars doesn't matter but uh, and obviously you know Mercedes Benz um, yeah so you guys just need four tools for that it's a pretty easy job and you know enjoy the free instructions that I'm guys I'm giving you guys you know it's totally free you know it's and everything so Thank you so much for watching us again. Uh, I will see you in the next one. Like this video, uh, share with a friend, and you know, let's keep saving these old school Mercedes. Das Beste oder nichts.